You right, kids? It's Ross Clark. And today we are talking about vaults. Vaults that hang in the air. They do indeed. Hang in the air, float in the air, float around, something like that. Yeah, before we carry on, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell. Because that would be lovely. Thank you. So this glitch has been around for a while, I believe. I discovered it through Mr. Captain Fat Dog's Discord who found it through someone else. So I don't know who originally discovered this glitch. Sadly, I don't know who to credit, but if I do find out, I will pop it in the description. So grab your force fault, like so, pop it down wherever you want. I'm gonna put some elements in it because it doesn't work without elements. And all we've got to do now is pop a foundation, pillar, whatever, but it needs to be going up, up, up and away above where your force field will be. Once you've got it high enough, pop your vault down. I think uh, you can see where I'm going with this now. And I'll turn the force field on. But I've got five minutes to wait, so let's skip ahead a little. <laughs> so, time has passed and force field's here, up and out, and we're ready to go. So this is all you've got to do. Just demo the structures underneath the vault as you would drop vaults, any vault. And voila, floating vault. It's sitting on the force field at the moment, but you're about to see the magic trick in just a second as I hit the deactivate barrier. And there you go, a floating vault. Ooh, marvel at its floatiness. There's obviously some potential base building advantages to this. Hopefully this is gonna get more of you guys out in the open and away from building in those pesky caves because obviously vaults mean strong base. I'm gonna walk you through a few design opportunities that I've made myself after I've finished rotating around the vault of awesomeness. So here we go, we have a PVP build base here that I've done the groundwork for and as you can see there are many many vaults in a nice circular pattern. The circular base design is somewhat painted, 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 created by Mr. Captain Fat Dog. I'll leave a link to the video below so it's obviously all pre-set up. Yeah so yeah, you can see it's all ready to go. I've done it a bit differently this time because the circular design isn't based on one foundation for the ceilings. I've had to go around and do every single wall, but same principle applies. Just there's a few more walls being wasted here and you're about to see Wagwan. So here we go. Walls are going down now. Bada boom, bada bing. Red gunning. <laughs> you can see the patterns slowly forming, developing, turning into something, and how about this? Vault base. Now I'm just gonna give it a bit of a tidy up job and I'll cut right to that now. Blue Peter time. Here you go. Happy days. Look at that. Looks strong, yes? And it's a pretty cool design. It's within the 100 turret limit. And there you go, it's impervious to anyone trying to damage it as they would a wall because it's all vaults everywhere. So good luck with that. And it looks pretty mean and scary to be fair. <laughs> Some like bizarre vault Lord of the Rings thing. I'll show you quickly what the inside's like just so you know what you can do with this sort of design. So up ahead we got the uh, replicator and uh, all of the vaults and tech storage and there are the ceilings. Don't know why I'm going with this accent. And yeah, around the back, all you can benches, forge, and show you where I've stashed me generator and force field in the middle there. As a base. For something not to can do. Yeah, it's got pretty much all the amenities that you'd need. Fridge. Ah, 
Ah, oh, Mr. Rasclark. But you're forgetting cryo-fridges and fridges and cookers. Well, 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 well. If you follow me up the stairs of wonder, we will come across some more fridges. Cryo-fridges. There's a bed. You can sleep in it. And then we go around the other side, and we've got more fridge jars. And a cooker. How about that? And a preserving bin. And a cooker. Which one's a cooker? It's not a cooker, it's a grill. And that's the base design. That's something that's actually practical using this vault floating glitch method. But it's not just this. We can make much bigger things of art. I wasn't quite sure where this was gonna end up to be fair. Let's knock it down and find out what, what happens. Cue the lag. Bosh. How about that? I mean, it just looks, it just looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a really cool effect. But is it any use, I guess? <laughs> and I think going this big, you perhaps need to put more vaults down because you'll see, yeah, there's there's gaps in places which I've had to fill in. But I mean, look at it; it's it's such a unique, cool design that I'm hope I'm hoping some people might use. Like, like it looks like some opera style house for PVE or something. I don't know, but like a Minecraft version. <laughs> I don't know, man. But it's yeah, it's 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 something unique and pretty cool that that's definitely against the grain. And yeah, look at that. It's like art. <laughs> There's that. There's your PVE star house. But in doing this, I started to wonder what else could I do? And I started to test to see if a vault could not only drop on top of the force field, but could drop at the bottom of it. So essentially creating a sphere follow me on a time-lapse experience that's pretty much just me placing vaults however a time-lapse experience to see if i can create a sphere of vaults cue the time-lapse place it was a bit tricky to do as it involved a floating plat so yeah you ain't gonna be able to do this unofficial but there we go everything's in place all I've got to do now is demo the bits and bobs so here goes the bottom layer gosh faults have crashed did it work okay okay yeah it's looking like half a sphere not bad all right onto the top half move the foundations down to shift where the force field is dependent on structural integrity so it doesn't demo there we go now i can remove the top half jeb gen Okay, there we go. All the pillars are down. Now it's ready for the top top platform. Oh, crush your fingers. There we go. Okay. Yeah, the middle's not caught any vaults. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, how's a vault going to do that? But yeah, that's it's 
It's pretty much there, man. It's close. Okay, force field's off. All the vaults are still in place. And there we go. A somewhat gappy, but definite vault-based sphere. Looks a bit like the uh, the Technodrome from uh, Turtles or uh, or Death Star. Death Star, man. Okay, imagine it with some like cannons poking out the ends or something. It was there's some definite scope here, uh, but it's, it's taking me so long to build. It's just to get to that uh, to figure it out how it's gonna work. That yeah, I'm not sure. But there you go, man. A sphere. A blockish sphere, but a sphere nonetheless. I don't know why I'm saying sphere. A sphere nonetheless. In Ark Survival Evolved. Gotta be a first, I'm sure. And I really hope to see if any of you guys take this away and use it for yourself. But yeah, no, genuinely, uh, I hope you found this interesting. I hope it's going to help one or two of you, a few of you to create something cool uh, for both PvP and PvE builds. Now I've given you a few examples there. Once again, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell. My name is Ross Clark. Peace out.